Hi everyone, it's Marianne from MA Beauty and Fashion. Um, I'm gonna make this quick today because I am running on a short time. The time I'm filming this is July 19th, which is my birthday, and I've run behind on a few things because, um, you know, I've been on the phone all day between you know friends and family without you know on the phone and the text messages and all that kind of stuff. So I am running a little behind. So I'm just gonna make it fast. Today I have done all my makeup. I haven't put on my lipstick yet, but I've done all my makeup and everything. Um, the only thing I haven't done is my setting spray, and I had gotten requests to do this to test for you guys. See the Tarte setting spray. So I'm going to test that for you today, which is a good day to do it. Um, I work a little bit of a longer shift at work, and um, it's a little humid out and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see how it does, with because I, I did my makeup all the same and everything. I'm not testing anything different or trying anything different. Oh, I got a little sparker on my forehead. Look at that. So, all right, so let's spray it real quick and see how it does. That is a very fine mist. And yes, I'm using a cardboard to fan to dry it faster. I know. I know I spray a couple times just to, you know, be extra. <laughs> So, all right, we'll see how that does right now. The time is 2 o'clock. I'll check back in, you know, when I go on lunch at work. We'll see how everything is, and then um, I'll check in again after work, and I'll let you know how everything goes, okay? See you later. Here's a quick little update. I only have a little bit to check in with you, and then I have to get back to work. But so far, not so bad with the setting spray. I'm just kind of showing you. I, I do have a little bit of oil coming through, but that's always what happens no matter what setting spray I use, even the Deselect Urban Decay one. I always have a little bit that comes through, but so far not so bad. I mean, the rest of my makeup is okay. I don't see any creasing or anything in my eyeshadow. Nothing is rubbed or transferred. So I think we're good so far. I'll do another check-in when I get home and get off of work, okay? When I did that last check-in, I forgot to tell you what time it was. And it was 5.30 at that check-in. Um, right now it is 7 o'clock for this check-in. So I've had it on for about 5 hours and it's not too bad. Um, I still got you know my oil, a little bit of oil coming on my nose and a little bit right here. Which is, like I guess it is normal because I'm so, I have such oily skin. So it just it comes in. I wanted to show you too. I have the best co-workers ever. This is on my office door so but yeah so far so good so but I'll do my last check-in um, later tonight before I take everything off okay this is my final check-in it's officially 11 o'clock at night so I've had this on for nine hours which is not bad so and I'm I already worked late tonight and I've been on and off the phone because it's you know like I said before it's my birthday and stuff so this is my final check-in so I can go wash my face and go to bed because I gotta be up in the morning. So as you can see, um, my eyeshadow did not crease at all. I lost, of course, I always lose foundation here, but otherwise not too much of my oil came through and I didn't blot because I didn't want to mess with the, you know, the whole wear test and everything. So this setting spray is not too bad. I kind of like it. The real test will be when I'm on vacation and I put it on and use it for more uh, swimming and stuff. That I'll, I'll let you know at a later time. But um, I am actually quite happy with this setting spray. And it's a really fine mist. I mean, it's finer than you would with the Urban Decay. And it does have a, at first has a slight smell to it, but it's not bothersome or too much or anything like that. So... But, alright, well, let me know how you like this video. Uh, please give it a like, comment, and also let me know what else you would like me to try or any other wear tests or anything like that. Let me know below. And um, I'll also have my Instagram and my Twitter listed below. And my Instagram is m.a.beautyandfashion. And, of course, Twitter is m.a.beautyandfas1. 
So check me out there as well, okay? Have a good night, and I will see you all later.